Hello and welcome. This is Mr. Baumgarten back for the first of a series of videos I'm going to do on the BBC Microbit. Uh, this is the little box that it comes in and the Microbit is a really great little device for beginner programmers wanting to learn Python. Uh, you can also use it for a Blockly style interface but I'm going to be teaching Python today. So inside the box, what do you get? So this is the Microbit Go, and it comes with a couple of cool little accessories. Uh, you have your little Microbit. You've got your USB to micro USB cable, and it comes with a little battery pack holder and even a couple of, bat a couple of batteries, which I will quickly put together. Now on the front, as you can see, we just had light up on us. We have five by five. Uh, sets of LEDs on the front, so a little matrix of 25 LEDs. We have two buttons that you can uh, program up to respond to presses, and we have uh, a series of pins that we can also program responses to. On the back, we have a compass, a gyroscope, and an accelerometer, and a little reset button. And that's it. It's a tiny, cute little pack. Now, the software that you are going to want to use is called the Moo Editor. As you can see, I have up and running here. This is where you can download the program from here. Uh, this is my personal website. And if you scroll down to Learning Resources, you'll see I've got a link for Learn Python with Microbit. This will be where I upload all my lessons uh, and uh, code samples and lesson resources. So if after watching the video, you need some notes, or I would prefer you to my website to download any particular code or anything like that, this will be where you can find it. All right, but let's go back to Moo. The first time you start Moo, you will get a screen that looks like this. Make sure you select the micro bit mode and then click OK. Now, these are the things I want to quickly go through in this particular video. So, introducing the micro bit and the Moo editor, which we've kind of just done. And we'll talk about uh, the import statement that you're going to need on all of your Python programs that run on the micro bit. Uh, we'll run our first program and we'll talk a little bit about how Python works in terms of uh, running programs. So without any further ado, let's get underway. From micro bit, that's what we want, import star. Okay, and this basically means that there is a section of code in a um, what's known as a library. Over on a shelf somewhere there is some code that we are wanting Moo to load up and bring into our program. And so from the micro bit section bring in everything. The star means everything. So bring it all into our program so that we can use it. Uh, and so that gives us the micro bit functionality in Python. And so the, the command that we're going to run is display dot show and I'm going to open a uh, set of round parentheses, image with a capital I, dot, happy, all in uppercase, close the brackets, enter. All right, to get this program up and running on our micro bit, uh, first you want to save your program, and then you hit the little flash button, so presuming you are plugged in. So this is the button that will transfer the code from your uh, laptop onto the micro bit and you can see that the micro bit is uh, flashing it's restarting uh, the yellow light on the back is flashing indicating that data is being transferred on foot and now we have a little happy emoji so that was obviously the program that I already had up and running on it because uh, it's now doing exactly the same thing that it was doing before because I've just reloaded the same thing onto it uh, but it is a fresh program so how can I do something else with this? Um, maybe I started out, uh, maybe I want to express my love for the micro bit, having gotten it working for the very first time. So after showing the happy face, let's put it in a sleep command. Okay, and as I type sleep and I open the parentheses, you will see that Moo tells you uh, a little bit of a hint as to what might go inside the brackets and what the command does. So here, this is telling us, this will put the micro bit to sleep for 
for some number of milliseconds. One second is 1,000 milliseconds worth of time. All right, and here's even an example. So sleep 2,000 gives microbit a two second nap. So let's put 2,000 in here and I'll close the brackets and then I am going to ask display dot show image again with the capital I dot and this time let's express our gratitude with a heart. Now close the brackets. So I am going to show the happy face. I'm going to wait for two seconds and then I'm going to show a heart. So if I save this and then flash the micro bit, all right, we will see the data transfer light flashing on us again. And in a few moments time, we will get the happy face appear. And two seconds later, it will transfer to a picture of a heart. Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? Now there are actually a whole bunch of images that are already installed on the micro bit that we can use. So for example, another one, so if I go back to sleep, uh, and then two seconds later, I want to show a yes symbol. And then, yeah, let's, let's run that one. So save, flash, okay, and then we wait again. It does the data load, you can see there the little orange glow of the data transfer. Happy, two seconds later, heart, two seconds later, a big tick for yes. Excellent. So this brings us on to this fourth part of the lesson that I wanted to draw out to you. And that is that when Python runs its commands, unless we specify otherwise, um, when we use loop commands or run uh, functions and things later on, by default, Python will start from the top and run the first line and then run the next line and then run the next line, and then run the next line, and then run the next line, and then run the next line. Okay, so it starts, statements are executed in order from the top working their way down. If I didn't have this sleep command here, then we, the happy and the heart would have just flashed by so quickly that we may not have even noticed them. In fact, let's show what this would do. So I'll save and I'll flash this onto the card. All right, and let's see if we can even notice the happy or the heart appear. All right, it just went, looked as if it went straight to the tick. And so this could be a source of frustration. You might be, I've asked it to show happy. Why is it not doing it? Why is it just going to the yes image? And the reason is that programs are very fast. So it is running through this at several thousand times per second. Uh, it, that's how many lines it can execute, is several thousand per second. So unless we tell it to go to sleep, uh, it's gonna, it will do it. It will show the happy image and the heart image, but it will change and move on to the next line so quickly that we won't even notice it. So that's why we've put these sleep commands into place. The final thing I wanted to point out in this video is the importance of casing and spelling. Uh, this is always a challenge for beginner programmers. Right, but if I had lowercase i on this, this program would not run. And in fact, Moo has a helpful little check button here. And if I click on that, it will say undefined name image because Python does not know what that is because the person who wrote the original programming for this image thing that we are using, they spelt it with an uppercase i. And so it will only work with an uppercase i. Same as for sleep, if I used an uppercase S, it would not work, undefined name sleep. All right, uppercase D, undefined name display. All right, if I didn't use the dot, if I used a dash instead, that would also generate, uh, that would generate errors telling me that there's not this thing called show, All right, because, um, because show is a subpart um, I guess to describe it, uh, of display. Um, but by using the hyphen, it's no longer saying that I want to run this thing that belongs to display. So I need to run the dot. And this needs to be a lowercase d. And this needs to be a lowercase s. If I 
check that now, right? It will work. So uh, make sure you are careful with your upper cases and lower cases. Make sure you're careful with your spelling and also your punctuation. So what else do I want to quickly show you? We can make up our own little images on this thing. We are not stuck to, with the images that are predefined and there's a big list that I will uh, upload to my website, but we can create our own. Uh, and the way that we might go about doing that. So if I go to sleep here for 2,000 milliseconds, I can say display show image. And this time if I open a set of brackets, Inside this image, I can create my own image. And the way that I do that is I uh, will have a set of double quotes. And I want to give it a bunch of numbers. Actually, let's get it right. Five, five more, five more zeros. These are separated with a colon. Oops, five more zeros and five more zeros. And what the, each of these zeros is they correspond to the different LEDs on the micro bit. So the first five zeros are the top row, the second five zeros are the second row, then we've got the middle row, then the fourth row, and then the fifth row. So zero means off, right. uh, five means kind of turn the LED halfway on, and a nine, right, let's turn Let's put some nines over here. The nine means turn the LED all the way on to full brightness. So if I was wanting to get creative and make my own piece of artwork, I might do something like this. Let's put, let's put in some fives, uh, fives in the middle. And if I save and flash this, all right, we will get our happy face for two seconds. Then we'll get our heart picture for two seconds, then we'll get the yes tick for two seconds. And then we'll get kind of like a little bit of a picture of a boat. All right, two masts there and the boat. And you can see that the masts are not quite as bright as uh, the boat itself. And you might need a little bit of imagination to see that it's a boat. We do only have a five by five grid after all, but for our purposes, it is good enough. There's only one other thing I will quickly show you before I leave you uh, to experiment on your own. And that is how to write some text using the scroll command. Right, again, I use the double quotes and I can just write in here, hello from microbit. Right, and if I check my code, good job, no problems found. So let's save, let's flash it on to the micro bit. And I will get my happy face for two seconds, my heart emoji for two seconds. The yes will appear for two seconds. My little picture of a boat will appear for two seconds and then it will scroll and it will say hello from micro bit. Hello from micro bit. All right, that's more than enough for the first lesson. Why don't you experiment and see what you can create? All right, this is Mr. Baumgarten signing off.